My next guest says that she has been irritated for 15 years and it's all because of a ghost. Take a look at this. I've named him Seamus. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he wants. I don't even know why he's attached to me. He opens and closes my doors. He hollers in my name a lot. Teresa, Teresa. <laughs> and I turn around, there's nobody there. The TV goes on and off. The volume will go up and down. My phone rings, I'll pick it up and there will be nobody there. Incoming call. He really torments my dogs. They'll just look up like they're seeing something and then they'll start growling. It seems like everywhere I go, he follows me. When I've seen Seamus, when he has appeared, it's, it's all black. He'll stand in doorways, and then when you start toward him, it's, it's gone. I want to find out about it. If Sylvia can help me, that would make me so happy. But he better hit the road, because I'm getting tired of him. <laughs> Fifteen years of him is enough. Please welcome Teresa to the show. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What's this been like for you? Express yourself. Why do you keep calling him Seamus? It's a shame I have him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish His name is David. <laughs> His name is David. No wonder he's not listening to you. Yeah, really. Um, he, does, he is so aggravating. I mean, he... Yeah, but you see, it's very important to know him by name and tell him to go. Because then they know you've identified him. It, where did he come from? I mean... Is he blind? Because every time I move stuff in my house, he does things. He'll, you know, turn my lights on and off. He'll no, he just wants to be. You had a past life with him. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> what See, kind of life do we have? Well, you ought to be a little bit more inviting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my he had a really, that. really tough life, a really yeah, because, pioneering which life, in which he, he uh, died early. He died. How did attack. he die? Indian. Indian attack. Did. It, it feels like I'm drained. I'm really tired all the time. It's like he drains me. Oh, yeah, they do. They can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And my granddaughter, she'll walk around the house, and she'll just point, and she'll wave. Oh, yeah, and like you said, the dogs and everything, they can see. Tell David to go away. Say, look, David, you're dead. You got killed. It's over. I'll see you on the other side. Well, I was wondering, um, my uncle's name's David, I'm, and I was wondering. No, this is a man you were married to in a past life. Oh, do we have children? <laughs> he had uh, two girls and a boy. So that's why four came up. Mm -hmm. Well, I was wondering because I'm always tired. But, <laughs> but I was wondering because my bride, my I lost my brother. Um, well, I didn't lose him. He just disappeared. We've not seen him for like 26 years. We don't he's know. If gone. He's gone. Is he? Mm -hmm. We didn't. We couldn't find him. I know. I went through. No, you can't. Everywhere he's gone. he is gone. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I. What do I do? What can I do after I, if? Because I've tried telling him, is it because I wasn't calling him? you're calling him by, him by the wrong name. It's like Clyde and his name is Billy. <laughs> Yo, Clyde, I, yeah, I got that, you, Clyde. Is that why he won't go away? Is because I'm not calling him You'd by his name? You'd be surprised at identification, how much that helps. It's very much like this other woman who identifying the, even the problem of a past life gets rid of it. If I get rid of him, will that keep me from being so tired now? And, yeah, but see, you got to watch your blood sugar, too. You ought to go to the doctor and get your blood sugar yeah, checked because it's lousy. Yeah, I have been there. I'm going, as a matter of fact, just after Well, I please go, because that's what's making you tired. Because, you know, cause I knew it was, I was always drained, and I, and he, he's just really, he's so irritating. But it's not but, him. You know, pulling covers off the bed. You know, that would explain the covers being pulled off the bed. <laughs> that would so explain. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do do tell that. us more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he still thinks I know he still thinks he's married to you, so naturally he's gonna pull the covers off. Tell you, tell you, don't worry about it. Yeah. He's just a ghost. Well, he has seen him, and what was really funny, I, uh, he was sitting at the bottom of the steps, and I thought it, I just called him Seamus because I didn't know what his name was, and he woke me up and he was terrified. And he said, "Who is that?" And I said, "Oh, it's just Seamus." And I rolled over, and he he absolutely went berserk on me, and he said, well, "Get did? rid of him." Yeah, my husband went berserk. Well, on you me. should ask Seamus next. Well, see, if you were smart, you'd have your cake and eat it too. But yeah. <laughs> Or, or just tell, tell David to bring a friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, a menage a trois. It's, it's daytime TV. I'll be good. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes.